Hello students, today we are going to start lesson number 6 that is complements. Now, before starting complements, we will understand the concept of transitive verb and intransitive verbs. Now, the, wick, the wicket keeper caught the ball. Shweta brought flowers for her mother. The children screamed. She is the daughter of our principal. In the first and second sentences, the verbs caught and bought directly affect the noun phrase the ball and the noun flowers respectively. Both the nouns and the noun phrase function as direct objects of the verbs. Hence, caught and brought are transitive verbs. Now, caught and brought are transitive verbs. See, the wicket keeper caught. Caught what? The ball. Here, it is a transitive verb. Why? Because it requires an object to complete its meaning. Shweta brought. Brought what? Flowers. But here, the children screamed. Here, it doesn't require any object to complete the meaning. So, this is the intransitive verb. She is the daughter of our principal. Here is also doesn't require any object to complete the meaning. So, the first two are transitive verbs and the next two are intransitive verbs. So, let us start question number one. Underline the transitive and intransitive verbs in the following sentences. Write TV for transitive verb and IV for intransitive verbs. A. My sister is an aspiring economist. Is an aspiring economist. It is intransitive verb because is doesn't require any object here. B. The puppy lost its way in the storm. Lost. Lost what? Its way. So transitive verb. My mother sent. Sent what? A letter. So transitive verb. The, sub, the Sabri Express arrived an hour late today. Arrived an hour late today. It doesn't require any object. So, intransitive verb. In the same way, you have to complete from E to H in homework. Now, let us read the following sentences. Sojanya's gift made Hitanshi extremely happy. The weather has turned cold. The princess later became the queen of the state. The princess later became the queen of the state. Now, verbs, whether it is transitive or intransitive, that need a word or a group of words to complete their meaning are known as verbs of incomplete prediction, predication. Now, let us start question number 2. Underline the verbs in the following sentences and identify them as intransitive IVP or transitive TVP verbs of incomplete predication. A. Studying all night left me. Left me how? Exhausted. So, here left is incomplete without exhausted. So, it is a transitive verb of incomplete predication. B. The jury found them guilty of the crime. Now, here the jury found. Found what? Them guilty. So, again transitive verb. C. Aslam knocked softly. Now, aslam knocked softly. It is giving a complete meaning here. The object is not required. So, it is intransitive verb predication. D. My grandfather resembles. Resembles to whom? Mahatma Gandhi. So, here the object is required. So, transitive verb predication. So, students, in this way you have to complete E to H in homework. Next, now let us learn complements. Complements are words or group of words that complete the predicate of a sentence 
thereby completing the meaning of the verb of incomplete predication now what are complements these are the words or group of words that complete the predi predicate of a sentence which is giving a complete meaning to the predicate of a sentence or completing the meaning of the verb of incomplete predication now see irfan khan is is what a brilliant actor they choose pushkar head of the student council so these are the complements complements are of two types subject complement and object complement now complements that identify rename or describe subjects are known as subject complements they always follow an intransitive verb now the complements which are identifying renaming or describing the subject are subject complements and they always follow they are always after intransitive verb see nandini is the winner of the competition now here is is the intransitive verb the children appear excited for the picnic my neighbor's new dog has become really weak now here the winner of the competition who is the winner of competition nandini the children appeared excited for the picnic who was excited for the picnic the children all these are complements which are referring to the subjects the following parts of speech can be function as subject complements noun or noun phrase pronouns adjective adverb or clauses